You're listening to the NBX Sports Action Show on the NBX.com network. Our boy, the big nasty train wrecker, Kevin Gogan's going to drop a, an interview bomb on these cats like they have never seen before. Hot Rod, you got any words to say before we turn it over to train wrecker? I'd just like to say, train wrecker, I am so psyched that you're giving this interview because this is one of my favorite ad campaigns of all time. The Mr. Bowling Shoe Giver Outer, absolutely pure genius. We'll take it away, train wreck. Hey, boys, what's going on today? Hey, we're here at the, uh, at the NFL media thing, and I ran into two guys that you would never recognize because they're, they're not on TV, but these dudes uh, are the voice and the song of some of the greatest commercials of all time. But I want you guys to introduce themselves, and I'll come back and give them a few questions. My name is Pete Stacker, Bud Light, real man of genius. <laughs> And, it, and my name's Dave Bickler, real man of genius. <laughs> hey, dude, let me just tell you guys out there right now, you got to be smoking a lot of dope to dig these two fuckers up right here because these dudes are legitimate. Hey, now, now let me ask you, let me ask you guys a couple questions. Now, now, how do you come up with that uh, that uh, losing locker room reporter, man? How do you guys come up with the ideas for these things? Well, first of all, there's a whole team of writers at DDB, which is the agency. And they've already done 160 commercials over seven years, which is consistent as can be. And for them, they come up with the idea. They come up with a script. They come into the studio. If it doesn't work, then we all gang pile on it and make it work. So uh, the ideas usually come from some of the different writers. That's awesome. Now, exactly uh, how many of you guys done together working with each other? Uh, it's over 160 now, so, so far. Yeah. And now, now our uh, first five years, we never even saw each other. And you recorded these things without even knowing each other in separate studios. That's real men of genius right there, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm going to I'm going to knock this little recorder thing off here real quick. Now, now let me ask you now, uh, are they uh, are they there? Uh, are they drug testing you guys at all? Uh, not, 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 not. You got to be some type of musician of some type, right? I mean, you come in with a guitar. Do they pull out the drug kit or anything? The drugs are out of my system, out oh, of my good, system. Yeah. Well, that's why they give you hair. I, I've been clean forever. <laughs> OK, all right, good. Well, <laughs> You're a little hazy. I, hey, it's working on me too. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> hey, now, now tell me. Uh, uh, now, is this a, is this a good gig? I mean, do you, do you make some good jack doing this deal? Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> what, what, let me just tell you guys out there that don't know. Uh, when you when you answer yeah that fast, you're getting paid pretty good, right? I mean, what you say? Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you this: What in the hell were you guys doing before they dug you two guys out to do this shit? <laughs> well, myself, I, I was. Uh, in Chicago, and I was doing, you know, I did some jingle work, and I was with a rock band, and uh, uh, they were looking for an 80s rock singer. That's that's how they dug me up, <laughs> personally. Oh, you know, a little Survivor Eye of the Tiger? Come on, give us a little bit of that, bro. Rising up, back on the street. Hey, watch out. Some of my some of my boys here might get naked real quick. <laughs> it's a scary. Slow down, bro. Slow down. Hey. No. <laughs> and now, now coming here, uh, now were you guys, uh, are you, is your plate full with interviewing with people or does you just walk by and nobody knows who the hell you are? No, it's been pretty full. We've been, uh, some places that were already set up and other places we just walked up and once they found out who we were, then they were willing to sit down and talk with us like you were. Oh, no, uh, no question, man. Well, I, you know, I, I, I was telling you earlier, I, uh, I listened to this on my radio in Eastern Washington and I, and I would hear it. And then, and it was like five years ago I was listening to these things. And I thought, man, these things are great, you know, because I've been in the losing locker room before, you know. <laughs> and I always wondered about that guy cleaning that crap up, you know. So uh, it's great. And then when the guy falls over on a basketball court and someone's got to wipe that shit up, I mean, that's, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, that shit is classic. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Now tell me, uh, uh, how many do we have any new ones coming out for this year that are just yeah. going to be kick ass? Yeah, there's some new ones coming up. But, um, in fact, we'll do one now for you live if you oh, want. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. Hey, this, hold on. You guys want to take a bong hit first or something? Okay, are you all right? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do, actually. Hold on. to say I'm already prepared. Okay, good. I, hey, you guys, we need to hook up later. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Here we go. You ready? All right, you got it. Bud Light presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute perfect NFL couples. Perfect National Football League NFL couples. She's the perfect NFL lady if she A, lets you watch the game, B, watches with you, C, points and screams the same words you do, or D, all of the above. He's the perfect NFL guy if he A, answers your questions, B, prepares the food and actually cleans it up, 
or C is cool with your fantasy team beating his. You know she just got lucky. It's the perfect <laughs> NFL picnic if she serves him during timeouts and he serves her at halftime. I'm talking special teams. <laughs> so crack open a nice cold Bud Light. It's always worth it for the perfect NFL couple. Your game plan splits the uprights. NFL couples love to score. Bud Light Beer, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Let me tell you guys something now. Let me give you a little history of myself. I played 14 years in the NFL, and, and I've done thousands of interviews in my life, giving them and, and mostly answering questions of, of just absolute bullshit, man. I'm going to tell you guys something real honestly. That was the best fucking interview I've ever done in my life, man. And I really appreciate it. And you know what? There's a lot of celebrities here, but you guys are top notch. I love it, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us. No problem. You have the largest hands I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. And whatever you say goes. That's because I'm a real man of genius, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool.